first match that I saw at some hall, I think, was in 1952. Uh, I was a boy coming up to the ground for the first time. I remember it was Lee. I don't remember whether I thought that Lee were a good side or a bad side, and I can't even remember what the result of the game was. The first match, so what, about 1937. Uh, what the first game was, I can't think. I think I saw the change to matches without realising it. Uh, I came with my father on my bike, um, and I just can't remember those games. But the first, first one when I came on my own as, a, as an actual spectator was in 1963. We were playing against Featherstone. Uh, we lost that game, but um, I enjoyed the atmosphere, I enjoyed the spectacle, and just carried on coming ever since. My first match here, I think, was uh, I jumped off a plane from Australia on a Wednesday night and played a second team match on a Thursday night in front of about 400 people. And so it was a bit of a culture shock. The first one was against Huddersfield, actually, uh, a pre-season friendly. So the first major yellow player was against Featherston, one of my uh, old teams, and uh, we got us out of some first match. was again Oldham. That, I think it was the fourth match that I ever played. Uh, it was a friendly against Wellington. Uh, it's in mind because I got injured in the first half and I've come off, so it wasn't very happy uh, welcome up tomorrow. I remember our first match, I think it was Featherston at all, and we got trapped. I had a, I had a nightmare, I still didn't care. I, I, I can remember coming off and the director there with the, the head in the hand thinking, you know, what, what have we do? <laughs> From Hall is quite an unusual name for a ground, and I think people who come from outside may wonder what they're coming to when they come to From Hall. They might think it's some great place like Chidden Hall. But Hall is actually a local word meaning farmstead. We've got Spring Hall and Sand Hall in the area, and From Hall is just in that. It, it was a farm. We bought it in 1886 and converted it into a rugby ground and, uh, and a cricket ground, and then a pier, a bowling green was added later. And a thrum, the thrum part of it, I believe a thrum is a thread from the old woollen industry. And, uh, nothing to do with us, of course, because uh, whoever owned the farm gave it that name before we came. But that's how some all came into being. The ground itself is, is a unique sort of a ground. There's not much point having a home ground, is there, unless it's a little bit unique to give you some home advantage. Some all unique because it has this slope on it. Nearly all the Halifax slopes, so it's difficult to find somewhere that doesn't slope. But uh, the Halifax does, and... And the team over the years have been able to exploit that slope and, and use it to their advantage. Well, we've been here for nearly 112 years now. The first match was played right back in 1886 when Halifax played both. We were a rugby union club in those days because the league didn't start until 1895. So 112 years, 112 years of, uh, of great successes and, and, and great matches. I think it is a unique round. Uh, within the rugby league. Um, in Victorian times, uh, grounds were very compact and uh, the spectators virtually lined the touch lines. Uh, they're a little further back than that now, but uh, it is a unique atmosphere created by uh, the nearness of the supporters to the playing action, uh, which makes it extremely exciting to be stood there on the touch lines and witnessing the battle taking place no more than five metres in front of them. I think we have probably um, been considering the move seriously over the last two years. Um, two years ago, we had an abortive attempt to uh, redevelop some hall here on this side. Um, but at the end of the day, that was not practical. Uh, it was not possible to get national lottery funding for a development here, which meant uh, a lot of community facilities being built into the uh, new stadium. Um, so at the, at the end we decided that um, that was never going to be and we started to look around for uh, an alternative venue for the club. The final decision um, as to whether we should, we should move or whether we should strive to continue here for as long as possible was really taken uh, when the council uh, made the club aware that it was prepared to lease the Shea Stadium to the two premier sports clubs in the town. It was a tough decision, uh, I must say, um, but one that the club had been considering for some time. Um, 
we have very much in mind um, the lack of facilities for supporters here and we also had uh, very much in mind um, the rugby league requirements for training of the future. It is the close of an era and bringing to the end um, 103 years of professional rugby league in Halifax at this famous old game. We have decided uh, to play one final game at some hall, um, partly as a fundraising event um, for funding our part of the development down at the show, but also to give uh, the supporters both old and new uh, a chance to play the last respect to Drum Hall here, and we've organised a game against Leeds Rhinos, which will take place on, on Sunday, March 22nd. This is the final game to be played out here, and it will be an emotional occasion. Um, we have a lot of supporters who have been coming here for 50 or 60 years, and maybe some of them, in fact, don't, don't come here on a regular basis, but we're fully expecting that anybody who has uh, rugby league in their blood uh, and has come over the years at some time to some hall will like to come here and see one last game play. I suppose it's got to be a feeling of sadness, really. Um, I like some hope. People say that it's dilapidated and outdated. I don't agree with that. Uh, I think it's a lovely ground. Some is a great place to be. I like the atmosphere. I know it's probably not the best ground. But the atmosphere, the fact that it's so close to the players, um, it's very intimidating, I think, to be the opposing side, but yeah, the atmosphere, and, and the fans, I think, now it's like the fans are the best. Right, oh, I, I, I can't say down in Italy's better than this. It's so close to the field. That's all right.
the train going to be naughty to go and use the kids all long sleeve shirts. I think most of the lads here all not just to play with a long sleeve shirt, especially after the video. Look, most of them just got the sleeves off. But apart from that, I think it would just take a bit like a normal game, really, you know, just like a league match. Good. Pre-season friendly, and obviously with the game, with the rare game went, we play probably stuff with our, our big guns uh, on the bench. We prepared as uh, as if we were playing in December, uh, and as it too when we started playing, there uh, was no friendly at all. Down in the first twenty minutes, and uh, when we took we quickly uh, realised that after about twenty minutes, and uh, got back on top. The last kind of time we always played in the back of our minds, and, and when we took things to the end, we heard it there, saying this is our last time, so we decided to, you know, we actually start playing. It's a great place, I think, uh, especially the scratching shed there, it's great atmosphere down in Port, just when you score that, when you score at that end, it's a great atmosphere, all the crowd cheering. This is a bit too there. I don't really think I'll go on uh, to really miss anything there, uh, except for the steps and said, obviously the crowds that get in there and uh, the support that we get. Hubert Lockwood played for the in the 1930s, he sank in January 1934. So he's one of the oldest surviving players, uh, and he's uh, over 89 years old now. But uh, what a fantastic guy he is, still regularly coming to games, still looks as fit as a fiddle, whether he is or not, I don't know, but he, he looks really great. Uh, but he's made a great contribution to the village. Uh, we, we had a very, very good time. Uh, I. I would think that it would be the best Halifax guy. Uh, I, I don't know, people might know uh, not to do. But the, we, we, we had a very, very good side in my day. We,
We had a great dive from the next captain, if you remember. I don't know what year it was, 52. We had a great team shape, we had a great coach, mm-hmm. Albert Fernley, and two gentlemen for Luke League, which unbounded. Um, we had a giant, a giant. I joined uh, and uh, just before Tony and, and we would we were sort of the apprentices to uh the great from all sides. We go from the championship and from the Yorkshire Cup and God knows what else to do for FC. Uh, and we took over and like Tony said, we had a few lean years. So we came to the morning. I think the team spirit then, I've never known anywhere where the team spirit has been as good. There's always been a good team spirit mm-hmm. somehow, mm-hmm. but that particular thing, two or three seasons was just everything. Was, you didn't mind if you were subbing, you were like somebody else sub. Yeah. It was just everything about it was just, it was good to play. It was good to play. Yeah. And all of that, we got paid to it. <laughs> Uh, so that's one of the reasons I came to uh, to Simal. Yeah. Because I just won the championship. Uh, and after that, a um, couple of spring seasons. And then um, the Simal just started coming good again in 1972. We uh, reached the John Player final, which was the first final of the John Player. And lucky uh, enough to beat Wakefield at the Oxford Stadium. The same year we went to the um, Semi final of the challenge book, which uh, I thought we were destined to be the memory, but unfortunately enough, we uh, didn't make it. Basically, that's why we're here, because it is the last match, and uh, I have great fond memories after seven years, spending seven years at Brummel, I'll have great memories, so it's, it's a pleasure to come back. And it's a sad occasion, really, but uh, it's, it's lovely to come back and see some of the, uh, the old players, and hopefully, we'll have a good day. Generally speaking, I had a, a very, very happy time. I always put it down as one of the happiest times I've ever had uh, in the game of the rugby. I don't think we had any outstanding individuals, but uh, we could go as a team and let's look what's going on. Yeah, I'll be about 5,000 pence a lot. <laughs> 
but you know, so I think it's a party that I enjoyed uh, watching the pressure on a date race, I think they all enjoyed it. I think from the back room staff and uh, obviously the directors and the support of these more and more things on the players, but uh, it, 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 it's quite good to see a nice turn out and play me all the original pitch. Really well. I mean, really yeah. optimistic for this It was very good last night, tomorrow, yeah. It was very good entrance, so really enjoying it, yeah. We just hope it's a good way for our talent to the race. Oh, it was just a very emotional day, and obviously, I mean, it was brought back a lot of memories, especially the old players. I mean, I watched them play a long time since. I mean, I've been coming up here for 12 years. There's been a lot of hard physical men out there today and it's been a very, very good match and a very good end display to the very sad occasion which it is. And I just felt like my son says that Halifax now progress into Super League 3 and hopefully win the championship. And all the best to the lads from all the supporters. It's probably the right thing to do is move into the show for the old town. A nice new stadium. It would be a marvellous development once it's finished and uh, I think it's good for the community. Welcome to um, an historical day at Drum Hall. Um, a last match here. Tremendous game of rugby, I think. Our uh, thanks to Leeds for playing the match. Um, Leeds are a tremendously big club in rugby league and um, we needed a good send off today. I think we had a tremendous send off, um, but it was a good match, and I thought that we would deserve winners at the end of the day. It's a delight to see so many past players, other people who are connected with the club, and it's a very emotional day today to um, uh, see them at the last, last game at some Hall. But we have to look forward and we shall um, uh, all move on body down to the day um, and take with us the, the atmosphere, the tradition, uh, the playing quality, uh, the, the professionalism within the club, which to take all that with us and which will improve it and move on. Um, and if we do that, then I think we'll create a similar club for, uh, for the children that we've seen running onto the field after the match. Uh, and that's what this is all about. It was quite a fierce match, and uh, I think the whole atmosphere started off being very subdued because of the emotion of it, but then I think the game itself took over, and uh, we were glad to get a win for Halifax. Uh, for me, I suppose, it, it just turned me back to my childhood when we had a very good team then, and uh, I, I, I do like the, the atmosphere that the place uh, just conjures up, and you cannot beat uh, the atmosphere of, of, of Frum Hall when it's full and when Halifax are on the road. The atmosphere is the uh, camaraderie of all the sport. It's a nice place to come. Hopefully we can uh, get something like that down to do it right, hopefully. I think probably the atmosphere is the crowd in general uh, when there's a big match here and, and the ground floor and, and the scratching set of things. Uh, I think on the sad atmosphere, I don't think we'll be able to replicate it in this stadium, although we do have to miss ahead. I know what I won't miss, I won't miss the slope, but um, the thing I'll probably miss is the atmosphere, the crowds every weekend, and, and the chanting and, and yelling, and uh, that's probably the main thing I'll miss, but hopefully um, when we move to the stage, we'll still get the same supporters, and, and the atmosphere will be just as good. I thought the best performance today to come back from 16 to down really did embody the spirit which uh, has been a Halifax for many, many years. I certainly have not had this committee for all. Uh, I was asked to recall some of my happy memories of the ball and uh, I don't know if we've been a talking to it. Now, please, I'm not sure. 